I haven't really talked about, um, you know, I only did like the two videos or whatever that had anything to do with, you know, uh, vegetarianism. You know, in my opinion, it, it's sort of, it's, it's like a logical outgrowth from the whole atheist thing. I mean, once you give up on the God notion and the dominion idea and the idea that nature somehow intends for animals to play some role you know beyond the fact that it reaches a balance but there's no there's no judgment involved no rational judgment the whole idea of animals eating each other is bad enough um then we're supposed to be smart and so we should know better you know we should be able to do better i guess would be my argument and before anybody goes crazy i <clears throat> i don't support obliging people not to eat meat but you know there has been a you know Cigarettes, they've taxed preposterously high. It's a thousand percent tax essentially now. And, uh, you know, it's obviously no worse for your health, I don't think. You know, I don't think statistically they could really prove this one than eating fat, you know, beef. I think that probably takes more years off people's lives. And obviously it's a, it's a popular vice, let's call it that. I'll call it that just because that's what it is in my opinion. Um, it's a it's a product of conditioning and culture. Uh, you don't need to eat meat. That's just a simple fact. And then if you have any kind of um, ethical conscience, I don't know what the right word would be. You know, if you've developed any sort of understanding of the universe, the world, the idea of you know farming another conscious feeling organism under rather brutal circumstances unnecessarily merely because you want to eat them it just isn't uh, it's, i don't think it can be rationalized i don't think it can, can be justified um and, you know intellectually it can only be justified because you say you want to and you're arrogant enough to say i'm entitled or i have a right and uh, it's like everything else um you know humans are pretty arrogant and, uh, you know, it is sort of ironic because, you know, the religious folks get all hysterical about genetics. You know, it's fertilized egg. Oh, it's human. You know, can't touch it. You know, fetus. Well, it's genetically human. Can't touch it. And, uh, <clears throat> like that's some sort of, it's so arbitrary and stupid to be counting genes. And, uh, obviously will, you know, Atheists still, no, no problem. You want to fucking inject a chimpanzee with cancer? It's okay with me. Uh, you know, you want to take a cow and, you know, slaughter it? Fine. You want to shove chickens into little, you know, houses, you know, sheds, 100,000 of them all smashed in there? It's okay with me. Because you're counting genes. You're sitting there saying, and oh, it doesn't know Shakespeare, so it doesn't qualify. I don't have to, I don't have to respect it. Because the only thing that means anything to you is having a scheming mind. If you don't have a proper scheming mind, well, then I don't have to respect that life form. I don't have to respect it. But then you'll dote over your pets. You know, you got a dog or something, and it's, you know, that, that you'll worry about. <laughs> and it's just such a joke. It's so idiotic. I mean, you'll worry about your dog, but you won't worry about a pig. Why? What, what, what's, what, what's the difference here? You're saying a dog feels more than a pig? You know, it's just stupid. It's the hypocrisy of it. It's just, it's, you know, it's just so, you know, from my perspective, it's just, yeah, it just makes this all so obvious. It's just, just brutal cavemen still. We haven't evolved into anything. And we're still just feeding the need. And that's all it's about. And, um, you know, even if there was less arrogance about it, you know, the hunters and the rest of them, if they at least admitted and said, okay, yeah, I got a, I got a, you know, a case of traditional addiction and I was raised shooting things and so I've come to require some pleasure in it and, uh, and leave it at that. Just say, okay, but I'm not going to raise my kids to be, you know, to find, to derive pleasure from shooting things. Um, but you won't, you know, people won't even do that. You celebrate your violence. You celebrate your lack of respect for the suffering of other things. And uh, that's really discouraging. And uh, yeah, I really do hate you for it. Um, like I said, I wouldn't pass a law because people really have to come to this on their own. Um, it's, it's a personal thing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't... 
I don't, uh, it's hard to respect people who can't make that, see that, to see their own hypocrisy. Like I said, how can you have, how can you have a pet and care about it and then turn around and not care about all these other animals? It just doesn't make any sense because you have a relationship with it. That's the only thing that matters. If you don't have a relationship with it, it's, it's, it's garbage. It's shit. It's all of a sudden a different kind of thing. It's completely beyond your comprehension to worry or be concerned. It doesn't make any sense. Continuing, uh, you know, if, if you take this a step further, look at it from like, the, you know, the whole hunting thing, for example. Um, in this town where I live, in this state, you know, we have a big problem with the deers. Too many deer. And, um, you know, the, it's never going to get addressed rationally because the hunting union is just going to keep preventing what needs to take place, which is a huge reduction in the population because they like convenient deer hunting. They like to be able to sit in the couch and just wait for a deer to come by and shoot it. And, um, you know, they've gotten a taste now for this whole bow hunting thing. You know, that's the new vogue, uh, shooting animals with bows and arrow. And uh, it's really disgusting. You know, as they put out, you know, there's a feeder in the woods in my backyard here, you know, a few hundred feet, uh, a few hundred yards away. And, uh, you know, at six o'clock every night, the food pops out. And, you know, it's just so stupid. I mean, it's just such a, they call this hunting, you know? So, I mean, you get deers used to showing up for a meal and then you shoot them at the dinner table. And <laughs> it's just, I, I just, you know, how, how can you defend something like that? I mean, it's just so sick. Uh, it just, you know, I, I mean, life is, you know, look, the brutality life has imposed. Over the last four thousand, you know, four million years, four billion years, is you know just incomprehensible. I mean, you, you can't even comprehend a thousand years of suffering, let alone you know billions of years of it. And so, yes, you know, a few more casualties. You know, who cares, right? What's the difference? And animals are going to die anyway. And uh, but I mean, it's just. It is the idea of being comfortable with that enough to be part of it, to be an initiator, to be a participant in the the event, the happening, the um, how do you put it? You know, to be an instigator. Um, I just don't. I don't know how people find an excuse inside of themselves to do that. You know, to be part of that. Um, I mean, it just, it's so, um, uh, I mean, it doesn't, you know, violent doesn't cover it. I mean, there's something else going on there, you know, to derive pleasure and enjoyment from <clears throat> stalking. It's not even stalking though, but you know, yeah, just lying in wait to impose your will on another living thing's destiny in a negative way, you know, with nothing but shitty intentions um i just um you know that's, that takes some minds that i just can't comprehend i can't see i can't i can't find anything there i can't find any value there at all i mean nothing it just doesn't it doesn't register as a a, a proper mental process i <laughs> And I know it's very natural and normal for these people. And, uh, but I just can't, you know, but that's the real problem here. I mean, I, I don't understand a lot of things that human beings do. And this is, but that's sort of the root it comes out of is that, you know, how, how do people that seem normal in every other respect um, find it possible to turn off whatever it is that's inside of them when they can take care of their dog and worry about their own pets? Or their own kids, but they can't worry about these animals.